What's up everyone? It's Taryn Churchardson, your Atlanta Realtor with the XP Realty. And today I'm taking you back to Brookhaven to take a look at another new construction property tour. This house is a six bedroom, six bath, 4,500 square foot home. 98, 99% of the way there. Can't wait to show it to you. Coming up right now. The entryway on this one, really beautiful, it's a solid iron door. All right, as we turn to the left, you'll have a mudroom slash staging area. Perfect spot to put some hooks and hang up your coats and whatnot. Got a full bathroom, we'll explore that in a moment. And a bedroom that's currently being used in the office, we'll come back to that as well. Just a quick peek into the garage and you'll see that you've got your irrigation system and on-demand water right there, the tankless water heater. Two panels for all of the home's electrical needs. You've got tall ceilings in here, so if you wanted to add additional ceiling storage, you absolutely could do that. All right, we're going to take a look at the first bedroom. Now they have it stayed beautifully in the office and it'd be a good office, but it's absolutely a bedroom because it's got this closet that we're going to take a look at. Built-in bookshelves. And here's that walk-in closet. It's a good size. Back into the bedroom. Really nice details in this home. The baseboards, crown molding everywhere, the black trim, black windows. Really like the light hardwood floors in this house as well. They're beautiful. Now, everywhere on the main level of this home, it's got 10 feet of ceiling space. Now here's that full bathroom I was talking to you about. We've got a frameless walk-in shower right here. Take a quick look. Not your everyday tile, it's really nice. So, I think a lot of people will use that first bedroom as an office but if you wanted this to be a guest room it's got its own bathroom its own shower would be a fantastic spot for one all right back through the entrance foyer and we'll head into the kitchen got your little dining area now we're seeing most homes nowadays they basically blend the dining room into an open concept with the living room. That's what's happening here. We don't have a formal dining room. The formal dining room was the room that you use for holidays, right? When you have people over. Otherwise, you're eating in the breakfast nook. This kind of combines both. I like it. Here we are in the family room slash living room. Take a look outdoors here in a moment. Now this kitchen is awesome. Really impressive island. Thermidor appliances. Now you'll see cabinet is hiding one of the refrigerators. We've got paneled coverings on it. I say one of the refrigerators because they're scheduled to have a second refrigerator come into the house here soon as well. Should be installed in the next couple of days. Ample storage for all of your needs. Not just out here, but you'll see inside the pantry there's even more. Let's take a look. 
So you can guess where the other refrigerator is going to go? Over here to the right. That'll be in, as I mentioned, the next couple days. And more storage. Have a second dishwasher there as well. Now they're still waiting for the paneling for that dishwasher. That should be in as well, next couple days. And as I mentioned, it's the Thermidor, the appliances. All right, we'll take a look outside. This is a great place to kick back and relax. Got the fencing all around, the fireplace. Still a couple things that are needed there. It'd be a great place to put your TV and watch whatever you want. Evening, weekend. All right, we'll take a quick peek behind the house. Most of the space here is going to be side yard, not back, as you can see. But it's private, nice and fenced, nice cedar fence, which will last a very long time. And there's room for extra stuff, whatever you might need here. There's also room to add privacy items in the front as well. All right, let's head back inside. Love the view when you come in from outside. This is what you're staring at. Let's head upstairs and take a look at the second floor. Now you do have two sets of stairs here. And I'm not talking about the landing being broken up into two spots. This is a three-story house. So you can see the nice hardwoods continue here. Start with some of the auxiliary bedrooms. Keep the primary suite for the tree right after. Now these are all decent sized bedrooms. They also have all the same detail that you have in the other rooms with the baseboards and the trim. Private bathroom, six bedrooms, six bathrooms. So each bedroom has its own private bath. smaller walk-in closet. Little hallway closet. Big bedroom. Slightly bigger walk-in closet than this room. Not going to bother cutting on the lights for this, but you get the idea. Take a look at this bathroom. So you can see we're all showers so far. Really nice vanity, lots of countertop space on this one. Storage always comes at a premium countertop space as well. So 
see the hardwoods are everywhere on this level as well. Take a look at this bedroom. We've got a closet style here. Not a walk-in, but it's a good size. And let's take a look at the bathroom in this one, or bedroom. Even bigger vanity. And we have our first tub with a tile. That was good to have at least one tub in the house, wouldn't you say? All right, let's go check out the primary suite. Make a quick pit stop on the way. Check out the laundry room. So you don't have to go up and down the stairs. You've got your full laundry with the majority of the bedrooms on the second story. And we're into the primary so you look at the light fixture. Now that's gonna be adjusted. It's a little crooked right now, the way that it's hanging, but they're gonna fix it, and if they can't, they're gonna put a different light fixture up. Now the primary suite has not one, but two closets. Let's check out the closets. We'll come back and take a look at the primary bathroom as well. Cut these lights on. Ample space, lots of storage in here. And an equally big one here, actually bigger on this side. So if you're a couple purchasing my house, you can fight over who gets which side. If you don't have a lot of clothes, the other person does, they might get both. All right, back to the bathroom. French door leading into it, and a tub. Another vanity with plenty of storage and countertop space. That was nice. One thing I'm noticing that this doesn't have, which you typically see, are some kind of lights on top of mirrors. They don't have those here. So something to add post-purchase. Or maybe you get mirrors that have the lights built in. Beautiful tile. We've got the rainwater fixture right there. Onward. Of the vaulted ceiling with the beam at the top. Not sure if I showed that properly. There you go. If you enjoy these property tours, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one. Now on the third floor, they were waiting for extra carpet to come in for one of the bedrooms. We'll see if it's in or not.
All right. So whoever's willing to come up all these stairs can get quite a big space to themselves. Furnace over here. You can see spray foam insulation. A house this big that definitely helps with the utilities. That much more energy efficient. Closet. We got a walk in closet over here. Person. Basically a blank slate, right? You could put whatever kind of storage system you want in there. So this is the bedroom that is still needing. Cut the lights on. So this is the bedroom that still needs the carpet that should be in this week as well. The other roof line, here's the other furnace. I can't hear that running from inside the bedroom, well insulated. Okay, you can hear it a little bit. It's like a white noise. In the bathroom that this bedroom would have. with access as well to the hall. There you go. It's a nice little suite away from everything else. If you're willing to go up not one, but two sets of stairs. What was your favorite part of this beautiful house? For me, it's the space that I'm standing in right now. So this open concept kitchen, I could see myself entertaining family and friends here almost on a daily basis, not every day, but often. We'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're planning a move to or within Metro Atlanta and you don't have an agent, I would absolutely love to help make that move as smooth as possible for you. But feel free to reach out. I love hearing from people just like you. All my contact information is in the description below. Make it easy to schedule a phone call, Zoom call, whatever you're most comfortable with but let's start the conversation. Now, if you'd like to take a look at the next video, click over here. Never want to miss another one? I consider subscribing. Click over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.